Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This video is on level 8. Level 8 doesn't really have a beginner or advanced route. Uh, there's really only one way to go about this that is remotely fast. The first thing we're going to do is head up this ramp to the first key. We want to try to go up fairly quickly. Uh, you can jump over these boxes individually, but if you can cut corners to get around them, that's better. Uh, after picking up the first key, we're going to drop right down to this blaster upgrade. This should give you the level 3 blaster if you've gotten all the upgrades so far. And with the level 3 blaster, charged shots can one-shot the turrets in this level. So a lot of this level, you will probably be uh, just zipping around with shots charged up. Uh, as we head down this path to the first tear, charge a shot for that turret, and then we'll run into this room with these few binomes here. If you get here early enough, uh, you can take out these binomes before the tear spawns, and if that happens, the tear just spawns right here, and you can take it out. If you did not take out the binomes, the tear will follow them until you take out the last one, and then it stays in place and waits. Um, before I mend that real quick, I will also say, odds are if you got here quickly enough to take out the binomes before the tear spawned, you also have time to come open this door and get the second key before the tear spawns. And then you would run back to the front of the room and mend the tear. Uh, as we leave this room, try charging another shot to take out this turret on the left. Uh, that will help us a bit later. If you don't take it out right then, that's not a big deal. Uh, as we go back through this room, you can hug the right wall for a health and ammo refill. Which, odds are, if you used a bunch of ammo on the binomes carrying the first tear, that'll help. Uh, continuing on, there's a nice out-of-bounds jump you can do here. It saves a little time, and is... It's a little tough to get, uh... Don't worry too much if you struggle with that. You can just take the normal path, and it only loses a couple of seconds. Uh, as you come into this room with these four turrets, uh, be sure you take them out before grabbing the ammo refill. That'll help you out. And I would say probably don't pick up the health refill at the end of this room until you're coming back through here. And then as you can see, even with slowing down to explain things, we can still get here in time for the tear to spawn. Uh, this level can be long and difficult, so there's a decent chance the tear will have spawned before you get here, especially uh, if, you know, anything slows you down significantly. So watch out on the last jump up here. The tear's gravity can actually pull you in a pretty rough way and knock you down if, uh, if you're not careful. Anyway, then heading back through these rotating doors, just like with level 7, uh, we can catch half cycles with the doors as they move between the walls. I would say pick up the health now, odds are you lost quite a bit in the room with the second tear, and keep heading back through. And then we're going to head right back through this path again. This level has an awful lot of back and forth. It's honestly not a bad idea to take out those tears just or those turrets just to reduce lag as you come back through there later. Uh, if you didn't take out the turret that would be in front of me here, be careful with this jump. The turret can push you so you can't make it. Uh, now, normally when I get here, the, the tear hasn't spawned yet, and so I would continue on through this path, maybe take out one of these turrets if I can, but those turrets aren't that big a deal, and then go through the vid window to this room with the key. Now, if you're familiar with this level, it kind of guides you to take out the turret, collect this key, and then jump down this hole, uh, and run through a path to get back to the rest of the level. 
Uh, first of all, that's really slow. Second of all, that path, the platforming is kind of, not super difficult, but it's not easy. I honestly think it's easier platforming to just jump off of this slope to come right back to the room with the third tear. And then we can also escape from this room. And then, yeah, we can just do a similar slope jump to escape this room. If you're running low on health, there is a health pickup right there above where the third tear spawns. It's not very hard to grab. Uh, ideally, we want to jump along these slopes just for the sake of cutting corners, but if you do fall down here, bombs do not deal much damage. You should be fine. If you're at this point and you're still low on health, again, you can just slide to the side of the room and grab some health and ammo fairly quickly. Uh, if you have a keen eye, you might have noticed there is a life in this room. This life is not easy to get. I mean, it's not super hard, but the platforming to get up here is pretty long, pretty slow, and it's not easy. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, even, even I struggle with it a lot of the time. Usually at this point, though, you should be grabbing enough lives in the early levels that this one just isn't worth going for, and there are still a number of fairly easy lives to get later on, so I would say just skip the life in this level entirely. Uh, like I said, if you have trouble jumping over this wall, you could just go straight through these doors, it only takes a few more seconds. If you can jump over that wall, though, the Out of Bounds is worth doing a second time. Now, there's a secondary weapon over here. This is the antivirus. This one. Uh, this is the one where if you hit a turret with the antivirus, the turret will turn blue and fight with you instead of against you. This is one of the very few secondary weapons I pick up in the game. Uh, it's not entirely useful in terms of the turrets fighting for you, but it is useful in that the turret stops shooting at you. It, it, uh... It can be nice... I use it specifically in Floating Point Park to make it so I can conserve ammo there. I don't have to fight the turrets in that level. Uh, the issue with it, of course, is the turrets are still physically here. They are in your way still. So you gotta be careful with that. Um... It's not a, a perfect way to deal with them. But it's a fairly nice weapon. It You can find uses for it, depending on how you approach a lot of levels. I, I think it's worth at least looking at. But anyway, going to the vid window, we approach it exactly as we would the second tear. Just go up this ramp, try to do a tall jump here. You should get plenty of height to make that jump and just skip basically all of the platforming in this room. And then from here you can jump straight to the vid window. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or bring it up in the Discord.